Welcome to West of Tulsa. I'm C.J. Ward, and we are broadcasting from Studio 3 in Ventura, California. The whole crew is here. We're going to start off with Beth. Good Beth morning. Beth Ward. What would you drive in today? A 2019 Acura. I know that car well. I know you do. <laughs> it's a, a good fa- drive. A fairly clean Acura. <laughs> a fairly clean. That. That's the key. Next, we have uh, Helm Seacat. How you doing? Would you drive in uh, today? 94 W124 Mercedes-Benz wagon. What color? Black. All right. Nice ride. Yeah, love it. He is the Mercedes guy of the group. That's my daily. My favorite daily. Gabe Mm. (laughs) Schroer. Like, I am trying, seriously. Schroer. Trying to piss me off. (laughs) Schroer. Just say thrower. (laughs) Thrower. Schroer. Thrower. We spent way too much time on this. Okay. So, Gabe, what did did you drive in here today? Uh, 2010 Jetta TDI Sport Wagon. But you sound like you're pissed right now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Because of the <laughs> mother. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, we have Dan Brockett. Who Dan over Brockett? The, the guy in charge. I'm going to say it that way from now on. Because oh, I like it. it was because I did it a little bit, and then you noticed yeah. it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, I like and, it. And the other thing about Dan is that his fan contacted us and is bummed with us for putting him in the corner <laughs> and making fun of his He Camry. feels bad for Dan. No, no, my, my 2017 Corolla, Corolla vacuum cleaner. That's what it, that's Corolla vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so you made fun of it, not us, but somebody's mad at us because we, like, baby, we stuck you in the corner. <laughs> wow. Okay. He's not mad. He's just compassionate for Dan. Is that what it is? Yes. All right. All right. Next, we have first guest, Monty Wilson, and he is the founder of uh, Rally for Kids yep. and among many, many other things. Thanks for joining us. Today. Thank you so much. I'm one of the founders. There's been a lot of people that make that event happen. I've been fortunate to be there from day one. So I, if to make it correct, co-founder then. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, okay. that's fair enough. And what did you drive in here today? I drove quietly and at the safe speed limit, a Ferrari 458. Oh. I don't believe that for one freaking second. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe the Ferrari part? I don't, don't believe, believe any of it. Because <laughs> there's a Ferrari sitting in our lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful one. We'll show Thank that you. here in a Thank second. You. But And then next, Scott Rouleau. Hey, CJ. Hello. And you're a volunteer, Rally for Kids. I am. And uh, 356 guy, uh, Land Rover guy. Land Cruiser guy. Land Cruiser guy. And, and, and you're a guy in the rally. Yeah. 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 And uh, you were with me a couple years ago. Scared the hell out of me. Yeah. Well, we're still talking. Yeah, we right? are. <laughs> and, we're both, and we're both still alive. <laughs> and you should have right. seen the handprints all over the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have. Help. Get out. <laughs> There's footage of you guys doing that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have to we have, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. We'll yeah, put that so. up there. Yeah. And well, I drove an 18 uh, Audi S6. Nice. That's right. To get here today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice car. We hear good, we could hear the rumble on that one. Yeah, too. it was coming in. Yeah, <laughs> coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, All right. So, Monty, start off. Start us off here. Yep. Tell us about the rally for kids. What is it? Who does it benefit? Well, it benefits the United Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara uh, County. It's the single largest fundraiser of the year for that for that event, and it's really grown from its inception. But 100 percent of the profits. I mean, like Scott, myself, everybody's a volunteer, so no one's paid for it. So every bit of money, you know goes back into the event to cover the costs. And then anything that we profit, which is sizable, goes to the clubs. And we've really been able to contribute a lot to the Boys and Girls Club because we've opened two new clubs because of the Rally for Kids. We've bought vans because a lot of people don't realize that boys and girls that want to go to Boys and Girls Club, sometimes they don't have a way to get there. Sometimes they're living in a homeless shelter or something. So we bought vans so we can go pick them up and bring them into the shelter. And... um, Last year, the money from the event paid for new kitchens uh, because sometimes this is the only hot meal these kids get every day. So it started, uh, this is our ninth year. So. Wow. The impact is amazing. When we go to yeah. the dinner, the night of the rally, and you see what that money does, and you hear about what the money that was raised last year bought, yeah, and then what they, what they need and what they want. Yep, yep. That's amazing. And the list is always long. Well, you know, it, it, it is because the needs... To support an event like that, you know, and then during COVID, the Boys and Girls Clubs turned into distribution centers for the food bank. Right. Well, they didn't so, close. They stayed open. The yeah, they stayed time. open yeah. the yeah. entire time. Yeah. So It's a lifeline year-round for families. It's incredible what the program does. It, 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 we had a very interesting story this week because we had uh, a blue card ceremony. And it, it's a statistical fact that if the kids attend more than 100 days a year, the chances of them completing high school, being a productive member of society, double. Right. Mm. The blue, And so they get a gold card for that. And then they get a blue card if they went 200 days. 
And these kids, I mean, it, it just blows you away. And, and the th- thing that's kind of fun about it is to watch their eyes because some of them don't have access to computers and things like that at home, and all the Boys and Girls Clubs do, and so it helps them with their homework and helps the kids just kind of blossom and maybe realize their potential. Absolutely. That's yeah. amazing. And, and tell us about the rally itself. Because one thing I love about what we're doing here with West of Tulsa and what you guys are doing is that cars and charities seem to go together. Uh, you, you see so many events that are sponsored by car clubs or they're raising yep. money for charities or whatever. So tell us about the rally because not only is it a fun drive, but yep. some of the vehicles that are in it will blow your mind. Well, that's, that's what we – now, we, we limit it to 60 cars. So uh, And so we usually get 60 very special fun cars in the event. And the reason we do that is we want the people that are in the rally to have an amazing experience. Our goal with the rally is to take you places that you may have, didn't even know existed in our backyard, take you on roads that are just a lot of fun to drive safely within speed limit. And it's <laughs> not a race. Yeah, it's not a race. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, meet people through it. But your point's spot on in that the car community is just that. It's a community. And it's a very giving community. So if you give the people an avenue to focus on and, and uh, you know, a cause like you have with kids, everybody loves kids, right? And, you know, I don't know, we were at Cars and Coffee this morning. I always carry Hot Wheels cars in, yeah. in my oh, car. Nice. And whenever I see a kid come by, first thing I do is put him in the seat, let him sit in the car. And the second thing I do is I give him a Hot Wheels. Awesome. Car. Nice. And so everybody wants to help kids. And so, you know, what we try to accomplish with a rally for kids is give them a way to have fun with their cars, meet lots of new people, and contribute back to the kids. So. And as a participant, describe what it's like to, to drive in it. And, and Because the other thing to, uh, I don't think Monty explained to us, there, there are stops along the way where you have to – there are challenges. There's challenges. Games oh, and that. Cool. Yep. So th- that's part of the challenges. Not only – it's like you said, it's not a race, but you get points for answering certain questions, uh, doing the challenges correctly. Yeah. You get points for that, and there's a winner at the end of the day. But talk about as a participant. What well, you know, when you have an older car, sometimes you have issues, uh, range anxiety – you know, um, my ga- <laughs> just finishing that. Guy. <laughs> so my gas gauge doesn't work. You know, so it's always kind of calculated. And, and tell them what you've got. It, what you so got? I've got a replica Speedster that was built 50 years ago uh, by I, I believe by Jack Bianchi actually. Wow. Um, so it was built in 1973. Beautiful car. It's a fun car, yeah. as you know. I yeah. mean, um, I actually did a rally yesterday up in San Luis Obispo, but. But with the rally for kids, it's just a blast because then you're in there, you're you're with friends, um, you're side by side, passing each other yeah. once in a while, waving, uh, yeah. waving, yeah. lots of waving, lots of videos, lots of, lots of photos, and like I was saying earlier, you know, a lot of people I don't know, but you you arrive as strangers and yeah. leave as friends, you know, yeah. and yeah. so it's a blast, it yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. So you know, the, the format of the event's fun though because you know uh, Scott's experienced it, and well, I, a couple of you have, is that. It, because we don't want people to drive recklessly, so we, it's, you don't get any points for going from point A to point B. But what you do is when you get to a checkpoint, we give you a challenge. And many times it's something that maybe you haven't done since you were a kid. Um, hula hooping. Hula hooping. Well, there's a story behind <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. So, so, uh, but, 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 but we like to take people to places they haven't been before and experience things. So an example, one of the checkpoints was the Santa Barbara Bowl. And, and a really great group of people to work with. But what, part of the checkpoint was a, a kind of a scavenger hunt down in the dressing rooms of oh. the bowl. Because how many people have been down in the backstage of the bowl? I've never been Very down there. Very few. Yeah. So, so we, we, we did that. And then at the end, we wanted to have people sing on the stage. But I guess I don't understand union rules, but it was against a union yeah. rule. So yeah. we had to have mm-hmm. union sound and light and people like that if we were going to have anybody perform. So we thought, well, what can we do on the stage? Hula hoop. So, so <laughs> you know, whoever could hula hoop the longest on the stage with, you know, all the seats out there in front of you was kind of fun. Was and, it union hula hoops? <laughs> well, actually, we got a waiver for that. Oh, you one. did? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, uh, but no, it, it, and so we, you know, did things like that and... You know, uh, we've done remote control cars. How many of you were in Cub Scouts? Remember the Pinewood Derby cars? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. One year, each checkpoint, you built your Pinewood Derby car and stuff. And so we try to do things like that are kind of whimsical, but are a way that you can earn points to do it. And then whoever has the most points at the end of the, the rally 
wins. And, and most and the most checkpoints are fun too. Yeah, but no nobody knows the route. It, nobody oh, knows oh, where they're going. Yeah. Now, it, yeah. it actually used to be worse because we finally had to tell people where they were going. But when the first couple of years we did it, you would, the instructions would say go 10.2 miles and take your first available left mm-hmm. with no names or anything of roads. Ooh. <laughs> a lot of people got lost. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big old treasure hunt. And the, but, and the fun part about yeah. this is there's a driver and a navigator. So who gets to do the hula hoop, right? You, it's one person yeah. who does all these challenges. You, the team, you can mix it up, The team right? decides. Yeah. You right, can mix it up. You can mix it up. Yeah, we don't so, put ooh. too many rules on it. Well, and, and, and there's another reason for the navigator besides you know, navigating. Right. And the other thing is you, you had those questions we talked about. Trivia. You, trivia. Oh, so yeah. there are things, as you're in the navigator seat, you got to be looking around looking at, at signs along the side of the road, because that yep. could be a clue to the answer, the wow. question. And so even though the driver is supposed to be driving, right. the navigator is supposed to be, you know, turn left here, up here, and no, you got to be looking at Yeah, sign. but we're asking each other questions. Yeah. You exactly. know. So are, are all the instructions given ahead of time, or are you uh, get in uh, as soon as you get to a checkpoint? You, you get them the morning of the rally. Okay. No one knows where they're oh, going wow. until they get to that starting line, and we hand them the book and... Go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I was doing a rally yesterday, and I was cutting through Santa Maria uh, yesterday, and I was like, oh, I've been here because I got brutally lost last year. <laughs> 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 so, How many miles um, is a rally? We try to keep it around 150 because there's a gala that night. Oh, okay. And so we want everybody off the route by two Okay. because, you know, my wife Maria, I know Beth, you probably the same way. You want to be able to go home and get cleaned up and... Most time you have something nice to wear to get the game. Get the dust out of your teeth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the the exactly. dust and the bugs. Well, in the case of Scott's car, the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so everybody's usually off the route by around two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and uh, unless somebody got lost. And they, they actually have to, to, to discourage speeding. When you get in the rally, we require both the driver and navigator to put their driver's license in an envelope. And in that envelope is also where the final destination is. Uh. And and so if they get pulled over by a policeman, you know, and they say, well, you know, can I see your driver's license? And they're like, as soon as that is busted, open, then yeah. they're out of the busted, rally. Busted, yeah. You're busted and you're yeah. out of the rally. Or you, yeah. can't, you can't get any points. But it's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. We so do have a fun story about that, though. We had one competitor who will remain unnamed that <laughs> he did get pulled over for driving briskly. What kind of car? Uh, it was a McLaren. Okay. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> seven twenty. Seven twenty. And, and, uh, and uh, actually, it was an MP4. Oh. Uh, yeah. And uh, the policeman pulled him over, and said, "Can I see your driver's license?" He goes, "I can't show you that." And oh. And, oh. And, and, the, and the policeman's like, "Hmm, do we have a troublemaker here?" And and w- went on and 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 said, "Well, why can't you show me?" Because and he, they have numbers on the side of the cars, and so he goes, "Because if I do, then I'm disqualified from the rally." And <laughs> long story short, the policeman let him off, wow. said, just keep it under control, you know, and do well for the kids. How fast oh, was he no. going? Can you say? I, I don't, I don't think he was going all that fast. I mean, nobody, most of the roads are fairly curvy yeah. and stuff. So right. no one really gets too crazy. Um, and McLaren's look like they're going faster than they well, are. Well, that, that's, that's probably, it, it was probably yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. sitting there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was probably so so visually like, I just need to put yeah. this guy. Yeah. And do you coordinate this with the local police? You know, we always let them know what we're doing, um, and, you know, uh, they've been very supportive. In fact, we have a lot of people from law enforcement and that, that participate in Oh, that. really? Yeah, yeah. The numbers on the side of the car probably help, so I'm definitely going to put numbers on the side of my car. There you go. Yeah. I'm in a rally. So like, hey, officer, I'm in a rally. For charity. <laughs> in Oxnard. Yeah. For charity. When you're yeah. actually I, just going to the market. Yeah. 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 I'm I, rallying I, to Port Wainimi and back. I just want to say I yeah. can't show you my license. You know, like if I get pulled over, I want to say that at least. <laughs> right. That was a I dare you, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I had a quick question. Um, in the nine years that you um, – you've been doing this event, has there been um, challenging moments or obstacles um, setting it up or has it evolved to where it's always. been? Always. Oh, always. Always, yeah. I mean, last year was probably the hardest because of the winter rains. Mm-hmm. The route changed literally up till two weeks before the rally. Every time because roads would get washed out, trees would fall down, they would close them for road repairs. So last year was probably the hardest. Um, we've also had issues with, you know, people having... Close calls. The, the, the craziest one was Michael Hammer. Um, unfortunately, Michael passed away last year, but he was always the presenting sponsor. And he had this big old Lincoln that they you did in the Pan America series where they race across Mexico, and they actually do race. I mean, this thing was like a NASCAR car. It has a name. What's the name? What's the, it's the 
Panam. Oh man, there's a name for it too. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you. Yeah, a, we'll I'll send you a picture it, yeah. of the car because yeah. it says on the car. Right. But Michael was in this car, and he claims it was a brakes. I don't know. Well, but he went off the road. Oh. Went through a ditch. Went airborne. Oh. Between two trees. Between right? two oh. trees, <laughs> and landed on a bridge. And literally four feet either side of the car was about a 15-foot drop. Oh my and there was no rails on this bridge because wow. it was a private bridge. And um, the car being an old Lincoln like it is, this is back in the, the he just kind of had a little bend in the front bumper. And he kind of pushed it out <laughs> with his foot and kept going. <laughs> car, wow. but, but we've had situations like that where, you know, somebody... Had, you know, in that case, he had problems with his brakes. The kids are the ones benefiting from the rally. Yep. Um, but have you guys thought about how to evolve it to where they become more of a part of it? And the I, just crazy idea that just came up to mind was live streaming the event, being that it's like 60 cars max, where they get to experience as if they're on the ride with everybody. Awesome. That's that an sounds like an idea. opportunity. Oh, it's an yeah. amazing yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how we do it. Well, we've got the right yeah, thing I know. to do it with. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, you've had it where they do participate. I'm, in the last, yeah. Was it last year we did um, dodgeball? Dodge I want to talk about oh, so, so we always include the kids. One of the checkpoints is always at a Boys and Girls Club because they're scattered oh, cool. all over the county. So, so we can stop it. The one you're talking about was hilarious because we um, – did you like to play dodgeball when you were oh, – yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, who, who doesn't remember that red ball <laughs> smashing yeah. in the face? So we started, uh, we, you'd show up at the downtown Boys and Girls Club and got the balls there. They blow the whistle and the kids would come out and we'd have a dodgeball game oh, and people cool. would get knocked out and you earn points by surviving the longest. But what the participants didn't know is that, I think it was at 30 seconds, the UCSB basketball team also, they were like hidden off to the side. Yeah. They would come running out and join the kids. <laughs> oh, that, that was great. That was traumatizing. It was so great. Yeah, yeah, because what I did was, I, I, at one point, I had survived for a while, and, I, and then I leaned down to grab a ball, and I look up, and I see like eight balls coming off. <laughs> Please, boom, God, boom, boom, let boom, there boom, be well. They were all six foot four, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Where did you guys come from? <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the gala. Gala. All right. Gala. Gala? Gala. Gala. What do you say? I don't know. What do you say? Gala. Uh, gala. gala. Okay. okay. All right. We'll go with that. Gala. Uh, so tell us about this, because I know you said, you know, everybody likes to go home, change, but the cars have to kind of stay the same, don't they? Don't don't you encourage that you leave the bugs and dirt on it? Exactly. Bugs. Yeah. So talk about that. W what do you do with the cars? So last so last year we did it at the Hilton, right? Mm -hmm. you know where it was? Okay. The Hilton, and we drove them all up on the lawn right, right right in front of the gala so it was fantastic they're part of so, the party so yeah. they were part of the party and we had drinks and mingled with the cars and it was really really cool yeah, it was a beautiful really setting. special i mean literally you could get a cocktail turn around and look at a ferrari yeah yeah beautiful. Yeah. so we were right on the lawn right in front of the hilton and how many attendees were there probably 325 three, okay so we had 325 people, Whoa. and uh, we raised uh, – numbers aren't coming to my head right now. We, we netted. I always look at what did okay. we – after all the bills were paid, but we netted almost $240,000. Wow. Back to the Boys good. and Girls Club. Wow. Yeah. Great good. donations, you know, some great uh, auction items. Nice. Um, so that's what, you know, makes it happen. Some cars get, like, an award for most squished bugs on the front. <laughs> no, we <laughs> should. We should, <laughs> yeah. Should. That should be fun. Yeah. Yes. But there are, but that's the, the dinner. Everybody, you hand out the awards and all that stuff but that night. Yeah. It, it's a party. And and there's some traditional elements you'd have in a gala, you know, like the paddle raise. And that, that that's really where a lot of the money is raised, is at, at the gala. And then we have live auction items. And we try to have car-related trips and things like that. And That's great. Yeah, and I remember one year, Michael Hammond, Michael Hammer, they, they were saying, oh, we, we're just shy. We just need one more van. He goes, I'll just buy it. Yeah. 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 He was that, that kind of night is what it is. Yeah. You know, and we, we really strive to keep it fresh every year. Rarely will you see us repeat something that we've done before. And, you know, Zoe Felice of Felice Events has been with us from, from very early days as well. And she does these trips to, you know, as you'd expect conventions where they talk about new new things. And um, she's got some real exciting things planned for this year. And the, the format of this year is going to be completely different. Um, but we tried to bring in uh, different things. So uh, one of the things, to give you an example, is car related for the appetizers. There's a place, uh, a group down in L.A. called Gastro Garage. 
and I love the name. they've got the the whole steampunk kind of goggles and stuff, <laughs> and they cook with blow torches. Oh, and, oh, wow! And they've got these things that shoot flames like six feet in the air, and they cook with that. And they're welding a roll bar while you're there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anything breaks, they can take yeah, care of it all. It's yeah. 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 Awesome. Do you ever hear from the parents of the kids? Who the program benefits. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, it, it's almost tear-jerking sometimes to hear the stories. I'll, I'll share one story with you. Um, this just happened during COVID. Is Boys and Girls Club would try and help kids. Because remember, kids couldn't go to school. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these kids don't have computers in their home. So they had a whole protocol of how they would safely get the kids into the clubs, give them like computers to work with and things like that. And, you know, the parents would drop them off and... They'd have to do temperature check and all that. Well, anyway, there was this one car that just kind of sat off in the parking lot. And, you know, Michael Baker's like, this is weird. What's going Because he could see the mother and the child sitting there. And he goes, well, you can come in. It was windows up, too. Windows were up. Yeah. And and she finally cracked the window and she goes, I can't come in. He's got COVID. Mm -hmm. And Michael's like, oh, my God. She goes, this is the only place where we can get Wi-Fi. So she literally sits out in the parking lot. Oh. Tapping into the Wi-Fi, the Boys and Girls Club, so her son could go to school. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, we hear a lot of stories like that. Uh, yeah. Great. Wow. Yeah. I almost bring a little tear to your eye. It does. Yeah. It does. And, you know, there's so many stories that we yeah. don't even know about. But yeah. um, it is just such a beautiful event. And it's yeah. so yeah. fun and, and elegant. I mean, it's yeah. just got all the different elements to it. How many people uh, does it usually take to put on the event uh, total, would you say? Volunteers and sponsors? and Well, I mean, the initial yeah. group of us is what? There's only about eight of us eight. in the core committee. Yeah. But uh, volunteers, I'd say probably, what, 50 or yeah. so? Oh, wow. Yeah, you because can... you got to man each checkpoint. Yeah. you got yeah. people to start and the finish and uh, that's cool you know a lot of the parents come out that, that can help and people from the boys and girls club that's it's well organized it, it it flows yeah it's dialed Never in I, I think it's yeah. pretty dialed in it yeah. really is without being militaristic i mean it right. really is yeah, yeah. yeah. organized yeah. Yeah. what's one of the biggest challenges to putting all this thing together what's one of the biggest challenges that we would never even think about i think keeping it fresh Wow. And the route is that's a lot of work that John, you, and everybody puts in. We, we probably log anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 yeah. miles. Whoa. Wow. Driving. We were out yesterday and for about six hours wow. trying different things. And you can't talk about it. Nope. Can you give no, a hint of anything? Nope. nope. Just nope. a little tiny <laughs> nope. hint? No. Nope. Other than, other than, this isn't one you had ever thought of before. We were, so we were talking about this this morning at Cars and Coffee is that. I've driven so many of these roads. I told you how many miles a year I drive to, to help put the route together. And John Domboski is, is a master at coming up with great routes. Very enthusiastic about it. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> what, what's, his, what's his saying? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, he's got, he's got John-isms. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but we were out yesterday driving the route, and um, I'm like, where did you find these roads? I've been across this area so many times, and... There were just some amazing, amazing roads we were on. So I'm certain people are going to have a blast this wow. year wow. with roads. But I got to tell you a fun story. So because we limited to 60 cars and want everybody to be off the route by two, we have two groups. They go in two different directions. So one group goes clockwise, one goes counterclockwise. And last year, John and I would take turns and we always, I'd go counterclockwise and he'd go clockwise. So we get to the day of the rally and, you know, we're not really participants, but we like to go out on the route too. And I said, well, let's have some fun. I'll, I'll go the direction you've always gone and I'll, you go where I go. He's like, all right, well, we'll do that. I'll be damned if he didn't get lost. <laughs> and and because, because he was one of the organizers of the route, there's a whole bunch of people following him. And they went like 10 miles past the checkpoint. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's oh, wow. So we have fun with it. Can you but. say how far east it goes? How far north? How far south? No. <laughs> Beth is not going to give up on no, this one. No, no. no she's going to. She's it gonna doesn't try and go get as across state out. lines. We'll say that. Okay. Well, Actually, right. very few people think. know the route. There's probably only three or four people that know the route till the day of the rally. So, of all the years, what's your favorite car that's gone through the rally? Ooh, this could Boy, be tricky. I don't know. That's a tough. That's a really tough question. I, I, I love driving my Speedster, no. but I think this year I'm going to change it up. So. Yeah, what are you going to do? I might do my 323. Oh, okay. oh nice, right. nice. So. I think my favorite was probably Michael Hammer one year. Um, you know, he comes from the Arm and Hammer family. And he had this white Rolls Royce that was his grandfather's. 
and he did drive that in the rally one year. <laughs> and um, it's a gorgeous car. But but I had the good fortune of sitting next to Michael in the car one time and looked at it, and it's got this big scratch across the windshield. And I go, Michael, you know, this car is pristine. Why is the scratch there? And he goes, well, my grandmother was driving the car, and she was steering the steering wheel, and one of her rings scratched <gasps> uh-huh. the steering wheel. <laughs> oh. And he says, that's my grandmother's ring. Wow. And so he said, I've never wanted to replace the windshield. Wow. wow. So, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> but that was probably the coolest car we've had in the rally. But we've had some well, really ta- special cars. Let's talk about a ring that would be big enough to scratch a windshield from <laughs> well, the side. I keep mean, in context the Hammer okay, family. I was about to say. <laughs> I'm just picturing eight miles to the gallon for a Jag, right? We've talked about this. I would think a Rolls Royce would get five miles to the gallon. I honestly don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But he did finish the rally. The, the, I think the biggest challenge we had, there's two types of cars that I always worry about. The electric cars, um, Most we always make sure that we're within electric car range. So, you know, most of them will do that. But Electric car range depends on how you drive the car. Mm-hmm. And if you're driving aggressively or a lot of hills, that range falls down quite a bit. Oh, that yeah. and the Cobras. Oh, the yeah. Shelby Cobras, <laughs> they do not have large gas tanks. Oh, oh really? Yeah. And so they can only go maybe about 100 to 150 miles, depending on how they're driven it, before they will run out of gas. So there's no restriction. It's like what whatever car, run what you brung kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cyber trucks? The Tesla. That's Tesla. The Cyber. Tesla. Oh, oh, oh. There, is one, there is one in Montecito now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't miss them. No. <laughs> no. No. So I think it's a uh, Matt Black. Yeah. 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 Actually, do you know who that belongs to? No. It belongs to the chief designer for Tesla. And the, oh, the license did, plate actually says Cybertruck. Oh, I, I oh dang. That. Yes, okay. I did see that. Franz, yeah. Franz von Holsen. That's okay. his name. Oh, He's in Montecito? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang. Well, like many people that benefited from tesla stock he probably has a few different places <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so true well i i am so excited about what you guys are doing for rally for kids so if, if somebody isn't going to be in the rally yep. is there a way they can support this cause if they want to they can go to the gala and help they can go to the gala oh, there you go buy a ticket yeah and, and a lot of people do that because you know not everybody's a car fan and wants to spend, you know, three or four hours in the car. And so, but this is still a way for them to participate because mm. it is truly a different kind of event than the normal fundraiser that you go to. And I think people enjoy that. And, um, you know, the sponsors, as, as you mentioned, Chevron's our sponsor. We're super happy to have them come on board as our presenting sponsor. And then they presented last year. And they said, sign us up for three more years. Nice. Oh, that's wow. awesome. And I'm that's super great. proud that, you know, Scott, Scott shares the same thing is that we've never lost a sponsor. Every sponsor that's come on with us is still with us today. Wow. wow. Yeah. That says amazing. a lot. Yeah. It says yeah. a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you guys are doing. Yeah. Well, exciting. So what's yeah. the, uh, what's the date? Do we mention when, when a- this is? April 13th. April 13th. And then uh, where can they go to uh, find out more about the rally? Rallyforkids.org. Awesome. Yep. So well, you you rally, some... rally four number. Four kids. Numeric. Is the same for the uh, Instagram page, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. okay. Yeah, we'll have that all up there. Okay. Yep. Cool. Great. So the rally starts in the morning. You go through the rally, then a little break. Late at night. Well, it's actually f- two days because Friday night we do what we call the driver's party. And that's to kind of prepare everybody for what they're going to do the next day. And so we go through there and we reinforce the safety aspect of it. And we, we tell them what kind of clothes to wear, you know, and shoes to wear based on the challenges and stuff like that and what to be prepared for. And then, um, you know, we have a nice uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. And then it's bright and early Saturday morning. Oh, and they get their car numbers. And right, that, right. So they can put all the graphics on the cars and stuff. And uh, Jeff Clark is the uh, artist that does the poster and the numbers. And he's been with us how many years? Probably since the beginning. Yeah. Really. And yeah. It, it, if you've not seen the posters, they literally are works of art. And yeah. people, I've seen them collect them and they hang them up in their yeah. garage and stuff. He's and very talented. Yeah. yeah. Very, very talented. I saw guy. this year's beautiful. It's got a gold Dino on it. Yeah, that's a guy One named of my favorite Andy cars. Yeah. yeah. Andy's car. Wow. And we've tried to keep the theme kind of consistent where the, the, um, the, the theme of the poster is not only for the rally, but carries through to the gala. And the theme of the gala this year is black and gold gala, so it's a gold Ferrari yeah. Dino. Oh, wow. mm. Well, people need their sunglasses first thing when they get in the car. And they start <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. It's <laughs> I mean, kind of day. Yeah. But we've had all sorts of fun adventures, and half of it is just, you know, when things go wrong, you know, mm. and and 
One year we had a rock slide that closed the route for what about half hour. Oh, I wasn't, wow. I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, and um, rain. We had rain, rain one year. Yeah, yeah. And, and we were coming back from Ohio. I think we were coming down the hill and driving through the rain in Ohio. And I thought, oh man, this is oh, even. It was better. beautiful. Oh <laughs> yeah, it was even no better. matter what I the weather it. is, I, I yeah. just think it's a, a gorgeous. I know. Yeah. Each time it's different. Yeah. But the roads are beautiful, the backcountry. I mean, we live in a beautiful area, so you all choose so well. That was a very stressful event, though, because Zoe's calling me like every 10 minutes. Do you want me to tent the event? Do you want me to tent oh, the event? And I don't oh. like tents. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, no tents yet. And they literally had everything there staged and ready to go and uh, to put the tents up. And like you said, we're coming down the final stage of the rally back into Montecito area where the, the polo grounds are, and the rain stopped. Nice. Yeah. And we, we, you know, we were talking about the, the rally. That was the year of the walking plants. That was the one year that I, I, people gave me a hard time because we always go do the extravagant, you know, decorations and stuff. And I wanted these large walking plants. They were like people that were on stilts and stuff. <laughs> they were a little creepy looking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but uh, you know, I just knew that walking plants would not work inside a tent. So... <laughs> Nah. <laughs> it worked out. Right. It's always fun, and it's something that we don't see every day, whatever it is that you come up with. I mean, it's an amazing treasure hunt and, and more, so for a well, wonderful cause. It's a team sport. You know, yep. you know, Scott comes up with massively cool ideas for how we market the event and, and all the marketing we do there. Zoe does some amazing things for the gala. Uh, you know, John does a beautiful job with the routes. I mean, it's a team sport. I mean, every everybody in the group, Jeff Clark does all the posters and artwork. It's it's a good group. It's yeah. a great group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good group. Oh. Well, you guys, awesome. you guys took it easy on them today. Usually yeah, these guys bit. are harder on the guests. <laughs> yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're swear to God we're never coming back to this freaking place again. <laughs> <laughs> and they were actually pretty good with you guys today. Yeah, so. well, maybe they like us. Well, thanks for having we'll us. Find yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. fun. Yeah. We'll find out how they edit this thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How much they like you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it look what they pulled ugly. up in. They both pulled up in some... Yeah. Really nice car, so yeah. they get okay. some right. props for that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully we'll see everybody out on April 13th and do some amazing things for the kids. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. Definitely. Cool. Definitely. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks Thank you for guys. coming in and yep. telling us all about it, and good luck. Thank you. All right. I'm not going to jinx it. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. No, you say much success. Yeah. Much, no luck. Yeah, much yeah. success. Yeah, we got the much. kids on our side. So. Okay, yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget our socials. Fo like, follow, subscribe. We also have our YouTube channel thank you very much for the hundredth time <laughs> he's still pissed we've been out for like 40 minutes he's he just plays professionally man what, what is up he just plays angry wow. <laughs> but it plays well all right and we also have our tip line so go to our tip line fill that out send it in we'd love to have you here in studio and talk about your great car story all right thanks for watching everybody we'll see you west of tulsa